In this video, I'm going to teach you how to create an invoice and receive payments in inventory. If you're an online seller or you sell wholesale products, you might have to send invoices to your customers and collect payments at time. Luckily, our system makes that very easy for you to do. And we also have a lot of data automation features that I'll show you at the end of this video that will allow you to automatically generate invoices so you don't have to go through and manually type them. In this video, I'll show you a few of the problems that people face when they have their invoicing system set up, how to solve those problems, and then I'll show you the professional system that we use to create customized templates and send those directly to our customers and receive payments through the inventory system. Let's go ahead and dive on in. Let's start by talking about the old way of invoicing. Now, I myself am guilty of this. When I first started my business, when I needed to send my first invoice, I went onto Google, I typed in invoice generator. Actually, I typed in free invoice generator. I went to the website, I created a simple unorganized invoice, I downloaded it, and then I sent it to my customer. While many people still do this and it works, it is not the best way to create and manage your invoices. And the data you need isn't available with outdated invoicing systems like the one I talked about. You won't have access to customer history. You won't be able to recognize your cost per unit when you're sending an invoice. You have no idea how much you made per order in profit. You have an estimate, but you truly don't know your data. And then you don't have things like templates, payment processing, and analytics data that you can use in the future to plan and predict orders that you have with your current and past customers. So here's how to improve your invoicing process. First, you're going to use a professional invoicing system with a pre-built invoice template. That's going to include your company logo, an aesthetic layout, integrated payments such as PayPal and Stripe, and a customer portal. So what that means is your invoices can be sent to your customer and your customer can click on your invoice and review it and have access to that data in the future too if they need to go back and look at their invoice. Anytime you use a generator, you're going to have, anytime your customer asks for their invoice, you're going to have to figure out how you can dig it up. When you have a customer portal, they just log in there and they can see it all. So this is what you want to include when you're creating these invoices and want to make them professional. First off, your co company information. You also include all of your customer information, your billing and mailing addresses, itemized products and services, returns and warranty policies, and payment terms. This is a pretty standard to be included on all of your invoices. I suggest if you are receiving invoices that you have all of these terms on them before you pay any other vendors that you buy from too. So I wanna to talk to you about invoicing by inventory and I'm gonna show you how this all works. We can process and upload very large invoices in very short amount of time. We have professional templates, we have payment portals like PayPal and Stripe for you to collect payment. And we can track every single item that you invoice, how much profit you made from the customer, from the item, however you prefer. Now that we are on inventory, I'm going to show you how to create an order. I just had a customer who said they want to buy all my Allegra products. I filtered my Allegra here and I saw what I had available and we came to an agreement for all of my products in my Denver warehouse. I'm going to show you how to create an order and send an invoice to them now. We're gonna go under orders here. We'll go to create order. I'm going to enter in a customer. Let's just do myself to keep things simple. That's gonna auto-populate the data from past usage. Now the bulk apply here is one of our most sought after features. What we can do is we can select the unique identifier here and we can scan in the UPCs of those Leica products. So there's two different UPCs. I'm going to scan them in and add them right here. As you can see, we've populated multiple of them in this case. That's because they're coming from multiple different warehouses. So we can select the Denver warehouse for the products that we want to sell. And if there's nothing else that we want to do, we can just easily remove these like that. I'm going to select this warehouse here. And if I want it to, I could apply it in bulk, Denver, for example. Other than that, I have these selected and I'm going to apply the quantity, all the quantity we have available. So we have 45 units of that, 87 units of that and it shows our average cost per unit, which is $7.17. We'll then apply the sale price as well. This is all coming from our product catalog. We applied the sale price, $10. We do not have a price built in there, so we're gonna have to enter it in. We agreed on $22 in this case. Now, once that information is applied, I can add my shipping information down here. The customer sent me a label, so I already have a label ready to go. 
I can scan that label and add that tracking number right there. If I have any notes, I can add them here. Shipping costs, sales tax, I can do that as well. I can select my payment method. In this case, it will be bank transfer. We can also connect PayPal and Stripe so you can receive payment through there. If I want, I can download an invoice and send it to them directly, or I can go right here to create and send invoice and send an invoice to them directly. I'm going to create this invoice. And we're going to show you what it looks like inside when you, they receive an email. Let's go through, create this invoice. Now that I've created this invoice here, as you can see, invoice 52 from inventory. If your company name is ABC Distributors, it will say invoice 52 from ABC Distributors. Your customer will receive this, they will see the amount they owe, and they can view the invoice. They'll click on view invoice, and they can go directly to the customer portal. The customer portal here will display their invoice, they can download it, and if they have PayPal or Stripe, they can pay directly through that. Now, since this person is doing a bank transfer, it's very simple. We do not need to do that process. I'm going to show you a different route. So what we'll do is we'll go back to our orders here. As you can see, this is the order that we just did. For myself, Hayden, 132 units. We made just over $570 and 31% ROI. We're going to mark that as paid because it's been paid and we can ship it. Now we can go through and ship this order, but that's for a different video. What I'm going to do is I'm going to show you the data that we just put together for the items that we sold. So we'll go under here, inventory, stock count. I'm going to filter status, sold, and I'm going to type in Allegra. So we can see all the Allegra products that have been sold recently and how much profit we're making on them. We can break this down individually too, and we can see every single one we've done. So we can base it on the oldest ones, the newest ones, however it might be in that case. Let's go ahead and scroll over. We'll filter this by invoice and we'll go to the oldest invoice first to show this data. As you can see, there's a lot of data here. And we put this together right here. As you can see, these are the products that we just sold. This is the invoice it went under. This is how much profit we are making. And if you go down here, we can see exactly how long it took to sell. So one of them we had in for 51 days, which is a little longer than we should have. Other than that, we've sold them all within eight days, which is great. So this gives us a great idea of all the products we sold. Now let's go look back and look at our customers and our vendors that we've been working with. So the vendors here are Frontier Supply Co. and Swiss Supply Solutions. We can go under vendors here and we can look at both of them. So I type in Frontier, and I filter in Frontier. It looks like we've done four purchases with Frontier with an average ROI of 30%, and we sold them an average of 17 days. That's pretty good. Now, how about with Swift? Swift, we've done three purchases with, sold in 31 days, and 31% ROI. Both these companies together have been supplying us at a pretty consistent rate. And as you can see, you look through everybody else, anybody who's over 30%, even 40% here, are some of our best customers. Well, here, we lost a lot of money on this deal, so we need to look into that and see what's more profitable. This here will give you a full view of all of your customers and how much profit you're making off every one of them. We can click on all their purchases too and see every purchase and how much money you've made to give you an overall understanding to make sure you're profitable. This is how invoicing is done correctly. This is data that you need to drive your business to the next level. If you have any questions, check us out at inventory.com, book a demo with us, or leave a comment below and we'll be able to answer that for you.